Okay, so we'll um, we'll begin the session as we have we corral people from the the outer room to come and join us because this is truly a wonderful part of the the weekend, which is the granting of our visionary award uh, to a recipient recipient whom is long overdue, uh, Dr. Mimi Guarneri. And we're thrilled that she was able to join us and, and receive the award from us. It's so heartfelt from the whole organization. It's not her first award. She's received many of them, including the Bravewell Philanthropic Collaborative honored her uh, with, with their primary award a few years ago, which is an incredible honor because it's a really organization of some of the leading academic healthcare institutions in America. She also was instrumental in, in, in founding an or, the organization to, to provide the actually board certification through the American Specialty Physician Specialty Board for integrative medicine. And she serves at the um, Academy, of Inter, of, uh, Academy of Integrative Health and Medicine. Um, that's a, um, an organization that fosters, because a kind of a combination of previous organizations, the American Holistic Medical Association, that's trying to promote uh, integrated medicine as a serious medical discipline that's not only um, practice in people out of school, but also begins to become part of primary medical education and training. But I'm going to leave the rest of Mimi's bio to, uh, to Tabitha Parker, who's going to introduce her. And Tabitha is a naturopath who is the executive director of the um, Academy of Integrative Health and Medicine, and she's worked tirelessly to promote the unification of so many disciplines within medicine, particularly her own field, naturopathic medicine, been very involved in the global um, alliances for naturopathic medicine to, to make it much more uh, pr pract practicable and recognized. I'm a huge fan of naturopathic medicine. Uh, my own state doesn't technically allow it. There are naturopaths there, but it's not yet been legalized as a practice, as is the case of the majority of states in the U.S. Um, this is another area where Mimi has uh, led the curve at her practice at, at the Pacific Pearl. She actually works hand-in-hand -hand with the naturopath. I feel actually most people don't need to see a medical doctor for most of the primary care problems. And naturopathy would certainly handle all, particularly all the preventive lifestyle-based um, problems and, and solutions that, that exist without having to go to pharmaceuticals or, or surgery. Um, so I just want to say one thing about Mimi. Uh, we, we share something in common that we, we um, both ran centers that were part of a large academic institution that were closed by the institution. Um, hers at, at, at Scripps had an unbelievable uh, integrative healthcare center um, can't imagine when, when these things exist and they're such a beacon of light and, and they're so popular, they even are, generate income for the institution and PR. Um, unfortunately, a few years ago, the decision was made at Scripps not to have hers continue just like mine at uh, the Center for Health and Healing. Um, but I always felt uh, my center was really beautiful and we did a lot of green design. But um, Mimi, I wouldn't say jealous, but I, she was like a step ahead in that her entire center was built on the golden ratio. All the angles and all the movement of energy in her center was, was based on that primary principle. So um, I always thought that she, she did me one up on that one. And I, I love going into her center. I love going into the Pacific Pearl now. So let me not talk any more about either Tabitha or Mimi, but let Tabitha speak for herself and Mimi. And then we're going to present the award. And then Mimi's going to give us a, um, um, a talk. Thank you, Dr. Merrill. So it is truly an honor for me to be here today um, to present this award to Dr. Mimi Guaneri, who is not only a visionary, but is, truly encapsulates what we are all trying to do as a movement in raising consciousness and in trying to create a better world for the future of our children and the health of this planet. Dr. Dr. Mimi Guaneri is quadruple board certified and truly one of the most brilliant physicians you will ever meet, a physician's physician. So when doctors are sick, they call Mimi. Um, they come to her with their most difficult patients and she is just such an inspiration to our community. She is the founding president of the Academy of Integrative Health and Medicine, the co-founder and medical director of Guaneri Integrative Health, 
and an award-winning clinician, researcher, educator, and author. She is also a philanthropist with profound local and global impact. Mimi started her early career at the SUNY system right here in New York. She graduated first in her class and then was recruited to come out to Scripps and began her career at the Scripps Clinic as an interventional cardiologist. She placed thousands of stents in patients with coronary artery disease and was one of the leading physicians in this area, pioneering as a visionary then. In the 90s, she fixed arteries on patients who had already had a bypass surgery and began the journey to integrative health and medicine, a true paradigm shift, not only in herself and her patients, but she brought this movement out into the bigger medical community. This new shift moved from looking at sick care to true health care, to seeing prevention as the best intervention, to embracing interprofessional teams from all global healing traditions, to honoring connections between planetary health and human health, and to recognizing that love is the greatest healer. And all of this is controversial <laughs> in medicine. In 1996, she joined Dr. Dean Ornish to serve as a principal investigator in the Dean Ornish program for reversing heart disease. She initiated research in biofeedback, mind-body medicine, nutraceuticals, and biofield therapies. In 1999, she spearheaded the Scripps Center for Integrative Medicine, and which was founded as part of the Scripps Health System in San Diego. And this was one of the very first integrative centers in a health system in the United States. And decades and decades of research Mimi has been a part of in moving forward the evidence-based medicine in this area. This is just a smattering of the work that she has done. Her award-winning research has resulted in the development of integrative medicine centers and a shift in how medicine is actually practiced here in the United States and now beyond the borders of this country. She is a world-renowned educator and travels the globe to get this information out all over the planet. Her educational leadership is incredible. She's presented been a presenter at national and international conferences, patient and public events, um, is always giving free talks uh, so that patients can really be empowered by the information we have and this paradigm shift. She's assistant clinical professor at the Department of Medicine of UCSD, a professor of the Great Courses series, The Science of Natural Healing, and has been the director and advisor for one of the longest standing um, conferences in integrative medicine at the Scripps Annual Natural Supplements Conference, which many of you um, know, have spoken at, and have attended. And she does grand rounds across the United States. She's educating clinicians of the future to ensure that high quality care is accessible to all, and that healthcare embraces all global healing traditions to promote the creation of health. Dr. Guarneri has been a pioneer in climate change and in 2017 was invited to the Vatican. They held a Health of People, Health of Planet, uh, Our Responsibility Summit, and she was one of the world leaders speaking about how this is impacting our, our health on the planet, which is also a concern of Pope Francis. She has authored numerous books and is making an impact in ways that I cannot, on this stage in five minutes, really get across. But she has been at the leading edge of forming and founding some of the most important organizations in this movement. She has gotten numerous awards over the years. But I do want to really close on her philanthropy work. In 2011, in 2011 Dr. Guarneri and Rowney Pritton and King co-founded the Miraglow Foundation, dedicated to providing health care and education for underserved communities locally and globally. They have provided 
millions of dollars across the globe to bring integrative health services to places that would not have that otherwise. They have funded programs all over the globe. And for those of you who know me, I worked in Nicaragua in, um, for nearly a decade in, under, in an underserved clinic. And I cannot tell you how impactful and how important this work is to empower women and girls and clinicians around the world around their own health and the things that they can do to change. So this is just one of the people that have been affected by Mimi. One day I hope to be able to be as selfless as you and to give to something as important as this program. Thank you so very much for believing in something that gives women like us a chance to grow and change. Sincerely, Lydia. And there are women all over the planet that have the same story, that lives have been changed because of the work and generosity of these two women. And I really cannot get across what this means. Um, training nurses in India that would never have the opportunity to actually get educated. Um, work in Nicaragua, in Africa, all over the world. And this is all just on her free time, right? This is the generosity of spirit that she gives back to our community. So um, to end, I would just like to take a moment to really understand um, Dr. Guaneri is one of the few leaders that I see that actually embodies mind, body, spirit, her deep-rooted practice in spirituality, 